the homologous series of alkanes begins with the simplest alkane, which is a one carbon chain. I, can you even call that a chain? I don't know. And it is methane. See, alkanes end with ane. One carbon is as simple as you can get. What makes a homologous series is sequentially adding more and more carbons to your chain. The next member of the series is a two carbon chain, single bonded, because that's what makes something an alkane, and this is called ethane. Add another carbon to the chain, that makes three. You can add your hydrogens in, but this is propane. That's a three carbon chain. A four carbon chain is called butane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens. Cool. The idea behind a homologous series is that you are sequentially adding one extra carbon to the chain. You can keep going to get pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane, until infinity. Now what's special about homologous series is that they all have similar properties. The alkanes all have similar reactivity in that they're very tough to get to react, although they will burn. And uh, the only thing that actually really differs from one member to the next is due to the fact that the molecules are getting larger, so the van der Waals forces between the molecules are stronger. So you start out with gases, and then you progress to liquids, and by the time you get to 20 carbons in a row, I bet you it's a solid at room temperature. The point is, the properties are similar for all of these members of the homologous series. The only thing that's really differing is the size of the molecule because you're adding an extra carbon to the chain to generate each new member. Congratulations, you did it with me. Best of luck.